Hello, Dr. Jen here. I wanted to go over core stabilization and how to really protect our low spine. So we have different layers of abdominals. We have our rectus abdominis, which is the one that we're mostly familiar with. This is our six pack, right? And really its job is to flex us forward uh, and look cool. That's pretty much where the <laughs> the job of the rectus abdominis ends. Uh, then we have our internal and our external obliques. So we have these muscles that help to bring us side to side, cause some rotation. They also help to increase our interabdominal pressure. And then below that, you have your transverse abdominus. Your transverse abdominus is a deeper abdominal muscle that is really about increasing our intra-abdominal pressure. So why is this important? Uh, when we have low back pain, they find that over 95% of people with low back pain do not fire their transverse abdominus on transition. So sitting and standing, walking, uh, what actually happens when we injure our back or have back pain is that we end up shutting this muscle off subconsciously. It just stops working. And then we don't have intra-abdominal pressure. There's nothing protecting our lower spine and we can have a lot of irritation and discomfort there. Uh, so we need to consciously fire this muscle. And when we are following up from an injury, it can be really hard to consciously fire this, injury, this muscle. Uh, as you become stronger and more aware of it, it becomes very subconscious. Uh, but I remember following my spinal cord injury, it was actually something I had to work really hard at firing. Uh, and when I started walking again um, and getting some exercise, I would actually fire my transverse abdominus for a block and then relax and walk for a block and then fire for a block and then walk for a block. Now my transverse abdominus fires regularly. So women, if you're listening, even men, if you have that kind of lower pooch in your abdominals and you're like, I just can't get rid of it, no matter what diet I do or exercise I do, most likely you are not firing your transverse abdominus. A uh, fit transverse abdominus con uh, qua causes a like binding, almost like a corset on our waistline. And it's gonna help bring all of that in. So if you're struggling with that, this is what you need to be working on, okay? So it's not going to feel like you're doing much, I understand. It's going to seem really frustrating and simple. But here's what I want you to understand. If you cannot do this laying on your back like I'm going to show you, you cannot do this when you are working out, doing yoga, running, taking your fitness classes. So you need to learn how to do it on this smaller scale and then progress it, which we'll talk about uh, as we move forward. But you need to have a baseline. You need to have an ability to do this from the ground up. So let's start on the ground. So we're going to start on our backs with our knees bent. Hands to your hips with your pointer fingers and your middle finger kind of on your abdominals. What you're gonna first try to do is draw your belly button in and up. Most likely what you're gonna find is you either do too much or you don't feel anything. So a trick to help here is to take a block between your thighs or a pillow and squeeze the block. When you squeeze the block, you're gonna feel this muscle gently fire under your fingers. It's not gonna feel like much. So mamas that just had babies, this is a really great way for you to re-engage this muscle. So squeeze the block, squeeze the pillow, feel that muscle fire. If you don't have a block or a pillow, just bring your knees together and squeeze your knees. So you're gonna squeeze, so take an inhale, exhale, squeeze, and hold. Inhale, release. Exhale, squeeze and hold. So let's say you're squeezing the block, you're squeezing your knees, you're squeezing the pillow, and you're still not finding it. Your goal here is to kind of feel like you're flattening your back towards the mat. Although I don't want the movement to be that big, that can help you start to find the firing of this muscle. So really you should feel a gentle constriction below your hands. If the muscles are pushing up into your hands, you're doing too much and you need to back off. It's very slight. So from here, you're gonna work on being able to do that without the block, without the pillow. So you can take an inhale, exhale, gently fire, and then inhale, release. Another trick here is to feel as though you're bringing in your pelvic floor, you're stopping yourself from going to the bathroom, all of those muscles are connected. So in the beginning, your goal is to do three sets of 10, two to three times a day. I want you to be able to get to the point where you can get through three sets of 10 without feeling fatigued. You might find in the beginning 
that you can get through like three sets of seven or even just seven and your muscles are getting fatigued, they're not firing the way you want them to. That means you need to take a break and come back to it later. No more than three times a day, no more than three sets of 10 until you can get all the way through them. I beg you to listen to me on this. Don't progress until you can get through three sets of 10. If you do, you are going to make yourself more susceptible to injury and that is the opposite of what I'm trying to teach you in this video. Okay, so now we got to the point where we can fire our transverse abdominis. So you're able to do three sets of 10 a few times a day. So now we have that muscle fired. To challenge it, we're gonna to start to lift one heel and then the other. So I'm gonna show you some progressions and what's gonna happen each time you try a new progression is you're gonna add it in until you can get to three sets of 10 without needing a break, okay? Then you go to the next one. So you'll come back to this video a lot. Uh, if you're watching this video, you're gonna to go to the point where you feel that it's fatiguing for you and not fatiguing like you're used to, just fatiguing like you're not being able to get this muscle to fire, okay? So we start with three, lifting the heels. You're gonna to work towards three sets of 10. If you could do the heels, then the next step is fire that muscle and then you're gonna march. You might find that it's a lot harder for you once you lose one point of contact to keep that engaged. Again, you're working towards three sets of 10 here. Once you could get the marching, now you're gonna add in a little more coordination. So three sets of 10 of the marching, no fatigue, being able to fire that muscle the whole time. Then, so when you're doing the marching and things, guys, it's not like a march, relax, march, relax. It's the muscle is engaged and you're marching. The muscle is engaged the whole time. 10 on each side, take a break. Do that three times and you need to be able to fire that the whole time before you progress. Then once you get that, you can progress. So fire that muscle, gently draw it in, and then you're gonna lift the leg and the opposite arm. Again, the muscle is engaged the whole time. That core is stabilized. And you're gonna do three sets of 10 on each side and take a break. Okay, so a set of 10 on each side, take a break, do three sets. Your goal is to be able to fire that the whole time. Okay, so now we're gonna take it even further. Draw the navel in, the leg will lift up and extend, and then come back down and extend and come back down. You need to be able to do 10 on each side without relaxing the core while breathing before you can progress. Once you feel like you can progress, you're gonna add an arm in. Again, the, the transverse abdominis is engaged this whole time and you are not progressing till you can get through 10 on each side while breathing, while engaging, okay? So then once we get through that progression on our back, we're gonna come on up. This could take you months, guys. Take your time with it. We're gonna come into table and you're gonna try to draw that muscle in. Now, if you're trying to draw that muscle in and you can't feel it, take a block between your knees and squeeze the block to feel that muscle draw in. So you're basically starting over, right? So you'll do it with the block until you can feel it. Then you'll do it where you're just squeezing three sets of 10 in and out. Then you're gonna to fire that muscle and hold. Then you're gonna to start to lift a leg. First, you'll start by stepping it back. Keeping some contact, right? You'll do three sets of 10. Once you can do that, you extend an arm and a leg. Again, this can take you weeks or months. Obviously, I'm going through this progression fast. So you can come back to it. Please take your time. I know I keep saying it, but I really mean it. Once you feel like you can do that, then you're gonna extend. There's no bowing in your back. Everything is long, everything is engaged, right? So that's how you're gonna make that harder. Good, and then from here, once we're able to do that there, we can come on up and we can start to do these same things in standing. So you're gonna to try to fire that muscle in standing. Maybe you can do it, maybe you can't. If you can't, guess what? We start right back where we started. We put the block between our knees, we fire, squeeze the block to get that engagement and then relax, engagement, and then relax. So see from the side, engagement, relax. See how my navel's drawing in and up? See how my waistline's trimming? I'm getting long through my spine. Once you can do it with the block, you're gonna do it without the block. My butt's not firing. This is all coming from my core engagement, pelvic floor lifting, core engaging. Once you can hot, hold, hold, fire that and hold, then from there you're gonna start to just take some marching. You guys are catching on my drift here. We do the same thing. Supine, 
in table and then standing. Once we can do that, then we add the opposite arm. Once you can do that, you're going to start to progress it. You're going to go for a walk. You're going to try to hold that while you walk. Maybe you take 10 steps and then relax, 10 steps and then relax, and then you increase it. And then you're going to start to try to fire it while you're running, right? While you're doing your exercise, while you're doing your activities. But you need to be engaged naturally and gently. Like, I'm engaged through my core. I'm talking to you normally. I'm breathing. This is just part of my movement, part of how I feel. This is where you want to get back to so you can have that controlled intra-abdominal pressure and really protect your low spine. Again, it can take you days, weeks, or months, but be patient with your body. Take your time. This will make all the difference in protecting your low spine. I really hope that's helpful. If you have any questions, please comment below. You can find me on Instagram, Natural Wellness Tips. Shoot me a message. I'd love to help. Uh, and yeah, I hope you take your time with it and really learn to fire that transverse abdominis.